I'm here with head coach Kevin Gomartin. Kevin, congratulations on your win over Western New England on Saturday. Thank you. Um, the offense seems just be getting better and better each week. Uh, this past week setting the school record for offensive yards in a game with 594. Was there any extra pressure this offense felt going in to a game where they were facing the number one offense in the league? Um, first off, uh, 594 yards, a uh, new school record, that's, that's good to hear. I mean, wasn't even aware of that, so that's a, that's a pretty good thing, I guess. Um, extra pressure, I don't know about that. I mean, the players themselves and coaches, we put the pressure on, you know, individually and say, hey, we as a team have got to be better and got to do better. So I don't think there was any more pressure. Um, there might have been a little bit more pride on the line in the fact that a team statistically is the number one offense was coming into town, and we were saying, hey, we think we're pretty good too, so uh, so let's let's turn it up a notch. Having a trio of guys that are quickly becoming favorite targets of your quarterback, Stephen Wilkin, uh, with Matthew Trainer and Alex Hume as true wide receivers, and then Dan Bonacore is starting to catch a lot more passes this season. Do you think this offense can really start to take off the second half of the year? Take off? I mean, we just had 594 yards. Come on, I think we're, I think we're moving right now, right? Let's keep that going. Um, but uh, no, that's the thing. With, with the offense, it takes a little time. I mean, we talked about that last week, and mm -hmm. we do think that we are getting better with it. Hopefully, we will continue to go. We've had uh, nine different guys score touchdowns already this year, and, uh, and there's a couple of guys that still haven't scored yet. So, uh, you know, we think we have uh, you know, tons of weapons out there. We try to get athletes out there in space, and uh, guys that try to make plays, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get more guys out there making some plays. So, uh, you know, Matt, Dan, and Alex, absolutely. But we'll get some more guys in there as well. This year, the Seahawks are outscoring opponents a staggering 47 to nothing in the third quarter, including last week's 20 to nothing shutout right after halftime. What are you saying to the guys in the locker room for the team to come out and put up these impressive numbers on really both sides of the ball? Yeah. All week you're preparing, you know, just for the start of the game, and at the start of the game you kind of, you know, you're a little excited, you're feeling everything out and everything. And then the second quarter, you know, end of the first quarter, second quarter, it starts to settle down and, you know, figure out exactly what we can do and what they can do as the end. Then we get in there at halftime and, and we talk and we say, okay, what can you do? What can you do? Can we do this? Can we do that? And we work it out and everything. So we make those little tweaks, minor adjustments, but at the same time, we know we're going to keep doing what we do. Just make those little minor little tweaks, little adjustments, and then all of a sudden we say, coming back there, we're going to go to work, we're going to turn the butter, we're going to chop the wood, do whatever, whatever quote you want to call that, but we're going to do what we want. And at the same time, we come in the second half, we know that's that's time where it's that makes a difference in the game. That second half is is where the explosion happens, where either we wear them down or they wear us down. So, so we do have great pride in it. And coming out in the third quarter, that's just the start of that second half. Looking ahead to Curry, the team will face the Colonels on a short week, with the game being on Friday night. How do you guys get a team ready to turn around so quickly? Yeah, it does. It, it definitely screws up your schedule a little bit. I mean, we're so used to. You know, Sunday's off, Monday practice, or, you know, Monday, you know, get everything prepared, and then Tuesday practice, Wednesday practice. Just because it's a short week, everything gets squeezed down there one extra day. I mean, everything is thrown out of whack quite a bit. You know, I mean, myself personally, you know, just every day, you know, as a practice, I'm like, wait, what day is it? You know, today I was at the, uh, I'm talking about uh, Wednesday's meeting, and today's Tuesday, and that's just because everything just got congested. So it does make it a little bit crazy. And at the same time, to play on a Friday night game, you know, I haven't won a game since uh, since I was coach a uh, Friday night game since uh, I was coaching back in high school. You know, um, so uh, you know it's it's definitely different. Things change, and then you have to drive up to Boston on a Friday, Friday afternoon traffic. Not looking forward to that, but but definitely looking forward to being able to play another game. Definitely. Well, thank you, coach, and good luck this Friday night. All right, thank you very much. I'm here with Alex Hume, Stephen Wilkin, and Matthew Trainer. Guys, thanks for joining me today. Congrats, Congrats on that win. Thank you. Really Thank you. It's pretty exciting. Um, you guys really put on an impressive offensive show on Saturday. You put up 595 offensive yards, which is a school record. Um, Steve, you threw for 324 yards. And Matt, you had your career high of 195 receiving yards. Any extra pressure going into this game for you guys, uh, knowing that you're facing the top offense statistically in the league? Well, we felt uh, coming into the season that uh, we expected to be the number one offense in the conference, and we put high expectations for ourselves. So uh, when a team's coming in believing that they're number one, we want to show them that we truly are the number one team in the conference. And uh, so far in the first four games, we didn't put together uh, a complete game, as you can say. Uh, we had too many turnovers, many mental mistakes, uh, penalty flags and everything. But uh, we felt that this game, uh, if we put together a uh, 
complete game like we should have, we can put up the numbers that uh, we can consistently do every game, and which we almost did with uh, close to 600 yards and overall uh, spreading the ball out. And we feel uh, we can do that every game, and we truly are a uh, team to look out for in the upcoming games. Yeah. Um. The team outscored Western New England 20 to nothing in the third quarter, and this has kind of been a theme for you guys, um, putting up pretty big numbers in the third quarter and not allowing any points. Um, coming out of the halftime, coming out of halftime, do you guys do anything differently in that third quarter? Does coach say anything in the locker room? Like, what do you guys look for? Well, we always like we always have like halftime adjustments, so we always look for everything new, like. Like someone will tell us something, and then we'll go out there and switch it up on the field, and that usually leads to like a big player from that, or like, and then drives. Like we always come back out, and we always try to score in that first drive because that really sets the tempo for like the next second half. So that's what we try to do. Um, Alex, in your face to the receiving core, um, already matching your reception yards total from your freshman year. Are you getting more comfortable with this offense and the schemes that coaches draw up for you guys? Uh, yeah, just mainly for me, it was working with the upperclassmen. They showed me the ropes. They showed me, they really worked through the playbook with me. And I really got to like learn from last year, mainly just being like more of a veteran this year, I guess. And it's just really easy working with all the coaches, going through the film and everything. They really helped a lot. Uh, I've asked everyone else, so it's your turn. What are your favorite moments of the season so far? Um, I. What I like, I like camp because all you have to do is come in and play football. You don't have to worry about anything else. No school, no homework, any of that stuff. Just play football. Yeah. Uh, mine is definitely the off season, summer, summer uh, lifting and all the strength conditioning. Like, it's great to like just work out in the summer and just get right back into it, like ready to go for the whole season. My favorite moment so far is uh, definitely the Montclair game, uh, specifically the second half and definitely the last drive. Yeah. I mean, we could have easily folded at halftime. Like we weren't doing anything at, at offense at all, and the defense was just carrying us. But we were able to show that uh, we are resilient, and we could go out there and come together as a team. And it, since come come from New Jersey, it felt like uh, almost like a home game to all of us there. So on that last drive, uh, the crowd was getting into it, and basically we set ourselves up for a chance to win. And unfortunately, we didn't win, but we showed that uh, we can come together as a team and do a lot of damage when uh, we are very cohesive. Awesome. Well, guys, thanks for coming up. Uh, good luck on your game Friday. I'm excited to come and watch you guys play against Curry Friday night. Thank you very much.